So I have to say, I love Moss Out Leon as much as the next person, but sometimes you need a bit more oomph under the pedal. Today, I'm having my car remapped. Stay tuned to see what happens. So if you haven't been to the UK before, this is what the motorways look like. This is the M1, and it is uh, one of the largest motorways in the UK. So I've just got here, custom tuning at Credit UK. It's in Bradford, and uh, we're gonna get the car mapped in a minute. I think on the dyno and the rolling road. Okay, so what happens first is the technician here, as you can see, getting into my car. They'll sit on the rolling road and they'll do a few test runs where they'll just get a base setting and try and understand how much horsepower and torque the engine is currently producing. From that, they can work on it and obviously produce more. So in this clip here, the technician puts the engine into fourth gear and therefore gets the engine torque and power outputs from the, the computer. So the idea of the fan there is to cool the engine, the radiator down, and obviously the intake air uh, enters the engine. So the car gets strapped to the dyno. It's done several pull runs to just get a base figure of where the engine's at, what its performance is, and shown on the computer screen here shows the horsepower and torque, obviously the power curve there. So it's pretty much at specification there, a manufacturer specification at the moment. Configuration is going to be changed now and then just see what the power will get from the engine after that. Our apologies for not being able to show the dyno runs with the new configuration settings on the ECU. I wasn't actually able to. So the ECU settings are going to be downloaded now to the machine and then tweak the settings um, from what manufacturer is set and therefore the engine will then be able to produce more power. I'm here to learn today because this is the first car I've ever remapped or had remapped rather and I don't know the first thing about it and there's no point in trying to hide that. It seems like quite a good experience so far. I mean the car gets put on a dyno, they try and see what the power it's producing and then they can work on that and try and adjust it to make it more powerful. Okay, two and a half hour drive home, and we've managed to make 31 horsepower uh, with an extra 60 pounds of foot torque. Okay, so these were the results. Originally 168 horsepower, 169, with 270 foot pounds of torque. And with the changes to the ECU made, we've got 201 horsepower, almost 202, with 331 foot power to talk. There are the graph results from horsepower, you can see 201 up there. Off the rolling road, the dyno. Been out for a little test drive and it seems pretty nice. Um, Show about the weather. Uh, wet ground like this is not ideal for driving with a torquey engine. So okay, so about halfway back home now from having my car remapped and I have to say there are significant improvements to like the throttle response, acceleration, obviously torque and the top speed. Um, whether it's worth the money I don't know but it's worthwhile if you like driving a lot like I do 
and I have to say it's made a lot of difference to the driving experience of this car I'd recommend it being done to any uh, Seat, Skoda, VW, Audi um, etc. The best thing about it I have to say has to be the economy. The economy has increased massively. Um, I mean I was getting, I got 55 miles to the gallon uh, on the way here, on the way there rather, and on the way back so far I mean at the moment it's 97. I mean I don't know if that's accurate or not but 97 over 55 is almost double uh, and I'll just show you that now. Consumption one and that's it uh, in real time. So 129 I mean, we're doing, okay, 50 miles an hour in sixth gear, but still, <laughs> 98 miles to the gallon. <laughs> it was 55 on the way here. It's the same route. I haven't changed anything. I'm doing the same speeds. I'm trying to keep it a fair test. So yeah, ultimately, that's very, very impressive. That's a 50 zone, and he's doing about 100. <laughs> and of course, no trip is complete without the compulsory McDonald's run. <laughs> Get your chips, your chicken mayo, and of course, the Big Mac. Oh, and sweet and sour sauce. Okay, it managed 84 miles to the gallon on average, and that was the entire 133 mile drive home, uh, averaging 60 miles an hour. Not a bad mile per gallon average there. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. See you later!